Welcome to today's lesson. A few months ago, my wife came home from a Morris dance out and she was saying that she'd heard this tune uh, being played by another Morris side and she thought it'd be a really good one for me to do a lesson on and I heard it and I agree. So here it is. It's uh, Jockey to the Fair. It's a great tune to play. Key of G major. Let's make a start. G major means that all your Fs are sharp and we're in 6-8 so we've got that kind of rump ti tum ti rump ti tum ti feel. The metronome setting is 140 crotchets per minute, but don't worry about that, just play it at the speed you can. We're starting with no left hand chord in position minus one, and we're on the note of D. So this is a fourth button start instrument, and if you don't know what that means, it means simply that the fourth button down on the G row is G on the push, and on the D row it's D. So we're starting one above that, with finger one, that's what I call pause, minus one, position, minus one. So that's our first position, although we're only on that very momentarily. It's a push, finger one, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. You come in on the sixth beat of the bar, and that is your kind of spring off into the next and first main bar. So there you have an A in a box, it's the start of the A section. We've got two repeat signs here, a senyo and this thick line, thin line, two dots. We'll come back to that later. You can see straight away it says down one. So you're going to start off on this note of D, but then you're going to move your finger down one position to the G and into pos H position home, the home position. So we're going from to very quickly. So that's your start. In that first bar you have this. Push, pull, push, pull. So the G and the A on the same button, and the B and the C on the same button. Now, sometimes it's a good idea to just use the bellows to sound the second note in each case, but here I would articulate each note separately, so do a separate press for each note. The bass line for that first bar, that first main bar, it's G bass D chord, G bass D chord, so G on the push, D on the pull, G on the push, D on the pull. See? So it's buttons four and three, and I use fingers four and three. Some people don't, some people use three and two, some even use just two and one. But I use one finger per bass note, I think that's logical. So that gives us. Now the timing is crotchet quaver, crotchet quaver, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. If you like, run, T, tum, T. So if we add in that pickup bar, which is bar naught, that one note we've got, and we're off to a good start. So in bar two, we're still in that same position. We're still doing the 
Rumpty Tumpty, crotchet quaver, crotchet quaver. We have D on the push, finger three. G on the push, finger four. D on the push again. And then the last note is on the pull, finger two, for the C. So we have D, G, D, C. This is why it's important to use your fingers properly. Get into the right position. You don't want to be kind of bodging around with your fingers. And the bass line this time is G bass G chord, G bass D chord. Whereas the first bar was push, pull, push, pull. This is push, 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 pull. Right, let's add in the pickup bar and we'll play the pickup bar on the first two main bars. Notice the amount of movement is small. I'm not wrenching the bellows in and out. It should look like this. I always quote Ed Rennie. If you've watched any of Ed Rennie's videos, he's called Honorous on YouTube. He's got this knack of playing and you can hardly see the bellows moving. When I first started playing about 11 years ago, 11 and a half years ago, I was wrenching the bellows in and out, really pulling my shoulders out. But actually, you don't need to. So, like that is fine. <laughs> 